Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday morning. Uh, Andy weren't in yesterday. Me and Liam cracked on with uh, the crafter. It's looking min. We're not putting no lights on in here at the minute, but it's very dark in there at the minute. And it definitely won't be very dark when it's done. So today we've got a Deeds liter on. We've got on a T6. We've got this week a diesel eater, a Fiamma, awning rail and a skylight on a, a T4 motorhome which is quite nice. Um, I think there might be something else in this week as well so it's quite a busy week really. A few things coming in next week but yeah keeping busy. So like top road here, so this one what joins that. Yeah, go and watch it film. That'll be a good one, won't it? Be a good time killer. What's that? No, he's gonna go and watch it film. Should we shut should we go and watch it film? Shut the door. Do we look good? Did you really? Yeah, fine. Uh, so I decided to wash some pots. Yeah. I turned that water on and all that. So it's clean. Yeah. And then we got talking about this van. So I'm sitting back at that chat. And then we got finished doing what we were doing. He got out and says, why is, why is it where all this water come from? And he just went tap on. Yeah. 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 Like on. We did too busy fucking gassing about that yeah. van. Right, T6 is here. T6, long wheel base, nice fan. I know he's going up road anyway. Uh, diesel to fit. Beautiful little van this one. Um, a lot of these T6s have had like a lot of, I don't know, I don't say a lot of time, but a lot of um, keeping them like really clean looking. That seems to be the case. But we've, at the minute, we're just changing jacks because we can't get the tank low down to put the send uh, in the sender. So we're just swapping jacks over, but we've put in the, we've cut the hole for the recirc uh, vent pipe to stop pulling cold air through. And he's just swapping jacks over. Just watch your head on that door, dude. Um, in here we've got the... Because on T5s and T6s, they go into this bracket underneath. Underneath driver's seat area, under the van. And then they come in under the seat for the V-Circ. And then they'll... Uh, they come in under the seat for the pipe and the V-Circ to the side door. But yeah, I've had to just make this bracket a little bit bigger. Because it wouldn't sit on here. We're also waiting on uh, some timber supplies coming. So, uh, oh, new plywood for crafter. Um, waiting for some parcels to be picked up. And then we've got the T4 motorhome that I told you about, which I'll show you in a bit, because we're going to get cracked on with this. little bit longer than usual um, they don't always go out to plan doesn't mean anything were wrong but uh, sometimes de fitting a diesel is even on a same vehicle can take like an hour longer on one than another just because of little bolts and stuff like that and uh, depending what heaters used and blah 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 but yeah this T6 is uh, all done now we're just firing it up
Ah, oh, that T6 has gone. Um, took a few run-ups, about four or five run-ups to be fair, to get that heater working, but we're just going to bring this one over now. quite like this one it's kind of got a bit of retro cool going on and uh, in all honesty I'm a Volkswagen guy so and I've had a T4 before and as you get older you kind of eye up these motorhomes where they put BBS wheels on these we've got this massive Fiamma F45S to fit to this we've also got um, a vent, go on, skylight to fit, and then a diesel eater as well. So we're gonna find a nice spot to fit that diesel eater. And uh, so I'm just gonna pull it over now. We're gonna check it all out and see what we can do. Forgot they had a choke in these, so it sounds rate rattly. This, um, but. I think this is kind of how it starts up. It's probably a 2.4, they're quite a loud engine, but um, and it's running on choke. So it's a little bit loud, but I think that'll clear when it's running and that'll sound mint. That engine sounds better now. Did you know it's got a choke? I forgot. Manual choke. Hey? Manual choke. Yeah. Good morning. A Wednesday morning. Just unlocked. Liam's going to be a little bit lighter this morning. So, let's get this kettle popped on. Oh, yesterday as well, Andy's uh, brother's missus brought all these, like, fudges in. We're a bit partial to a sweet treat, aren't we? Yeah, she brought all these fudges in. Took one home last night. Ridiculous. Really, really, really bleeding nice. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Bassett's fudge is a little side hustle, I think. Just ridiculous, right nice. So maybe I might be able to have one of them today at some point. If there's one spare, or we might share one, we might cut it in half. Um yesterday, or late late on yesterday before we left here, Andy actually fitted the skylight, the replacement skylight in the T4 motor room. Uh, so today on that and he's going to start fitting the diesel eater, so we need to raise it up a little bit. It's quite low down, that vehicle. Um, so we need to raise it up and have a look for a good spot and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm hopefully helping Liam out get some more uh, wood cut for this vehicle so we can start progressing, um, doing overhead storage and stuff like that. It's going to be done in a little bit of a different way, so overheads are going to be done... Um, first possibly but you'll uh, you'll soon find out old timber came yesterday as well old timber old ply so we've got lots of stock uh, i've got a few things more booked in more diesel eater skylights skylight tomorrow big fiamma owning going down the t4 motorhome so that'll take two or three of us to put up because then really heavy piece of equipment uh, but we'll sort it out, we'll get us drink and then we'll get back to you. And running now. Is it new? Yeah, new, new rubber smell. So, 
diesel heater's fitted to this, skylight's fitted. Um, yeah, battery issues, so every diesel is different. And like, for example, we're doing this one and then Andy's come to it and then the leisure battery in here is dead. So like, to run it up, we like to run it up to try it, to see it up and running. Uh, also to try and show a customer that it's running before they leave, so they know it's running. Um, obviously, their leisure battery's not working, so we're running it. Are we running it off our spare or his spare? It's, it's so we're running it off his, his new battery, which won't fit in here, so we can't even put that in. We don't know where he's having it. But yeah, it's uh, up and running. Um, we're going to pop in here now. This van's full of stuff. What? We've got wheels. Yeah, I've got to be careful where I stand here, haven't I? Uh, we've got the Fiamma, massive, like, is it about three metres or four metres? Four wheels. Yeah, four wheels, Fiamma. I don't know if I've shown this van already. Over a Mount Bed, oh yeah, so we put in that, uh, go on, new skylight, and we had to mess about with this vent because, I don't know if you can see angle. There's an angle difference where the front of the van goes down, and then it's a flat roof inside. So, a bit mental. Yeah. I, I'm, but I'm not going to move that. I'm going to crawl under it. But can we move it? There you go. He's fit. He's plumbed it in to the original. So in a T4, the original sender is in the centre. Now this van's better because it had two single seats, so you can get straight to the sender. Normally on a T4, you've got to take seat out to get mat up. Just a couple of little bits and bobs to do. So I've got to Let's look under clip here. a couple of wires there. Yeah. But they'll run up. Through here, yeah. Wiring loom for something else is. All right. Into that conduit. All right. Yeah. Just out there, but I've got to put clips there. Yep. Not much. Though, is and then it? my phone's there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leaving there. his phone in there. And just, right. And just put monitor. So monitor's going down here under the TV. Yeah. Yeah. And then under this seat. So under this seat, this is under slung uh, eater. So we've come in with a research vent, is that it? Yep. Yeah, that's a research uh, vent. So it's not bringing cold air in. And then the other, nice, that's where we wanted it. Just there, which is kind of more central. More central to the van, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's still got all that space in this cupboard. It's not like in where, no diesel heater in where, is there? No, no. So, it works out all right, but it was just a bit of a faff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's mint, it'll be happy with that, won't it? Job, Love this van, but it's just absolutely bleeding rammed in. I mean, Andy's had to work in this all day, so I feel bad for him. I can't, I just come in a few times and then it, you can't move, can you? No. Bleeding nightmare. Fitting that bleeding panel. Andy did um, bend earlier, sealed it in at the top and everything. Well, yesterday, weren't it, that? Yeah. Last night. Yeah, yeah, last minute, like well, last. It went it, it like about four o'clock, you said, should we just get, <laughs> get this done? So tomorrow, We'll be getting, we've got a skylight to fit tomorrow on a different vehicle. Yeah. Uh, but then needs three in us really to fit that big beast. It's, it's heavy, that Bleeding heavy, isn't it? We're going to be fitting that Fiamma down the side of here. <sighs> oh, let's pop back inside and see what Liam's up to. <laughs> what you up to? <laughs> What's your name and where'd you come from? Liam Tracy, I'm from Essex. Oh, nice. So you'll have already seen this van yesterday uh, when this video goes out, so you'll That's know all about it. That's how Yeah. I've already seen it. Looking right nice, so. I think I like it more than Liam does. I'm not saying he doesn't like it, but I bleeding love it. Let's have a look at rear end. I like a nice rear end. Flaps wheels. Eh? Flaps wheels. He's, Liam's going to use flat wheel, his favourite tool. That, that one as well. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Eh? What the fuck was that? Hey, Thursday. Thursday? Thursday? Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Peugeot Boxer. Leisure Trekker. Oh yeah, proper little, uh, proper little camper van, isn't it? It's like factory 
body and that, isn't it? As if it's whether it's been redone or ears. Um, retrofit skylight. This one above my head. A uh, bit of a pain because we had these. Basically, these uh, pictures of it when it was being built, and there's like, if you can see, there's like water pipes running along the roof. Blah blah blah, all that lot. So we had to cut an hole in here in this roof without with with oi, uh, avoiding water pipes, electrical pipes, every uh, electrical wires, um, anything that could have been it where. Uh, so we spent a lot of time measuring, working stuff out as well. Um, we fitted a base plate to clear the ridges, um, and it could only go in one spot, really. Uh, we also wanted to kind of, we didn't want to overlap that join there, so we needed to come to one side of it, um, and we couldn't come any further over this way. So that's exactly where it is, and it's quite close to the shower unit but the door clears uh, but yeah to be fair it's a good spot and he's got another skylight there he's got that one there he's got one right at the back so he's got a lot of light coming into this band now which is I'm guessing what he hoped for uh, I'll pop this up on the roof uh, but if you can't see that because I can't see it uh, I'll just show you a few pictures and stuff. So yeah, we um, cut it out with the grinder, not the jigsaw, because the jigsaw would have cut through wires. There was actually two lots of wires running through there, so we would have cut through them. So we used the grinder just to go through uh, a little bit all the way around, um, and then we rubbed the edges down, uh, primed it, and then started getting the seal on and stuff like that. The worst bit about doing this was this roof's like a really thin, like four mil ply or something. Ooh, uh, a cup Pot of tea. Noodle. Pot noodle. No, does it want one? Yeah, I might do actually. Yeah. It want I want a drink. Yeah. That's like two kettle boils though for that, isn't it? I'll, I'll boil it Maybe two or three. Yeah. Uh, we're having pot noodles. I'll live life on time. <laughs> we're having pot noodles. We've had um, Popeye's chicken this morning, filling. So we're just going to stick pot noodles. Um, yeah, this skylight's in anyway, done. Um, it's got fly screen and blind, and it looks lovely. So, yeah, that's in. Um, what was I saying? We've got Fiamma. We've got Fiamma running to do now on the T4. Why? Even, my head's like blank today. I can't think about Yeah, we've got Fiamma running. Uh, guy has messaged me, so we really need to get that on today. And ready for him, um, and then it'll be back on with we helping Liam with crafted, I think. So yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna pull this out, get the other one in, and we'll get on with that. Right, that Fiamma awning is uh, now fixed up. Uh, it's fastened on little spreader plates inside the cupboard there, but they're not really big. They're only tiny little spreader plates. Um, we're going to recommend for uh, the guy who owns his vehicle to put bigger plates in because they're quite weighty, them awnings. Now, it'll probably be fine, but just to be cautious because obviously the inside of these vehicles are kind of just like bleeding cardboard and um, so we've like these plates are fastened against this but it's kind of like it's not very strong so they could do with like bigger plates really um yeah but we're going to mention that to the customer really happy that awning's up looks mint when it's out it's going to make a real difference to this vehicle and that's this fan done so this fan's going to be out of the way now so that's two vans uh, done out of the way. 
And next week, diesel eaters, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure what else we've got in. Might be three diesel litres next week. So hopefully the weather's good. Good Friday to you. Good Friday to you. Good Friday to you too. Good Friday. Good Friday. We're at work. Good Friday. Let's all have a good Friday. This space here. Massive space. Been full of like stuff. everything. Stuff. Um, we decided yesterday or the day before we're going to tidy it out and use it as like a new like tool corner or something. See how long that lasts because it'll probably <laughs> fill up with shit. But, um, so Andy's clearing all that art and then, <laughs> and then I don't know. We'll, we'll decide what we're doing. I, I think we're going to make some shelves. Go, no, because that's big, that heavy shit. So that's got to probably stay. I'll leave. Maybe. So and tuck things in and you know um like that go on electrical cup and stuff yeah some guy wants it posting then ramps uh, hook up and the back lights i think that's about it he wants them posting so they can be kept together ah oh. so i'm running some strips off some 60 mil strips um off of this 12 mil maple uh, and I'm going to be adding some strips up here onto this section. Uh, I'm also going to be replacing these strips. Finger. We're replacing these for full length because of that bit near that skylight. I'm running around here. Because we don't like this gap near this skylight, so we're going to do something with that I don't think that gaps too bad myself but we've all kind of agreed that it needs addressing so I'm gonna build some like long full strips and then sort of like cut into that little bit of the 60 mil strip to like contour around the skylight and then we'll see how that looks. Right, coming closer to sort of half past two, uh, Good Friday afternoon, so I think we'll uh, be calling it a day soon, but me and Andy's done this end piece now. You can just see it contours around the uh, around the skylight, so I think that looks loads better. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, nice little steady Good Friday, really. But let's show front back. I think that's about it. We're in Monday. I think we're in Monday, aren't we? We're in Monday. We're not having no rest. It's gonna work. Should we call it a day on this week's video, Andy? So. I think we should call it a day just so, um, yeah. Don't, then we don't. Start afresh. Should we start afresh? I reckon there'll be a lot of. Oh, next week's right busy. Diesel eaters and that. Really busy. So next week's really busy. I think. Do you get three or four diesel eaters next week? Four, isn't it? It could be four. four um, one, two, three. He's ordered another one. So, yeah, four Five. diesel eater fit in, lowering a bed, lowering someone's bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's next week. And uh, um, I don't think we've got any vents or fans. Um, hold on. I'm sure Liam wrote some in the book. I think it was that uh, Vivaro eater. Yeah, that's about it. So, goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. It's not a goodbye from Liam, though, because he's gone out, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll get him to say goodbye next time. See you later.